Thank you, uh, Presiding Officer. Um, <clears throat> members will be uh, aware that my colleague Elena Whittam uh, resigned earlier this week due to health reasons, and uh, she has been instrumental in progressing our work on alcohol. And I'm sure members will join me in wishing her well. Presiding Officer, um, I recall making a statement to this chamber on the 21st of November 2017 on minimum unit pricing and our intention to reduce some of the harms caused in Scotland by alcohol. In May 2018, following the agreement of this Parliament, Scotland made history by becoming the first country in the world to introduce the policy. Having led the introduction of the policy, it is with great pleasure that I make this statement today on the future of minimum unit pricing of alcohol in Scotland. I am clear that alcohol continues to cause significant health harm to too many people in our country. The latest figures by the National Records of Scotland show that there were 1,276 alcohol-specific deaths in 2022. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my deepest sympathy to all those affected by the loss of a loved one through alcohol. We as a government are determined to do all we can to reduce alcohol harm. I announced back in 2017 our intention to introduce the policy as soon as we could. Following the delay caused by several years of litigation through the Scottish Courts, the European Court of Justice and the UK Supreme Court. The minimum unit pricing legislation came into force on 1 May 2018 and contains, as members will already know, a sunset clause, which means that the legislation will cease to have effect unless the Scottish Parliament votes to continue it. In September last year, the Scottish Government published our report on the effect of minimum unit pricing in its first five years of operation. In order to inform this report, Public Health Scotland were tasked with leading an independent evaluation of minimum unit pricing, an evaluation commended by internationally renowned public health experts, including Sir Michael Marmot and Sally Caswell. Public Health Scotland's final findings were that overall the evidence supports that MUP has had a positive impact on health outcomes, namely a reduction in alcohol attributable deaths and hospital admissions, particularly in men and those living in the most deprived areas, and therefore contributes to addressing alcohol-related health inequalities. There was no clear evidence on substantial negative impacts on the alcohol, al alcohol drinks industry or of social harms at the population level. During the study period of the evaluation, it is estimated that MUP reduced alcohol attributable deaths by 13.4 per cent, that is 156 a year, and was likely to have reduced hospital admissions wholly attributable to alcohol by 4.1 per cent, compared to what would have happened if MUP had not been in place. Running in tandem to the evaluation was also a review of the level of minimum unit price. In order to inform this review, the Scottish Government commissioned the University of Sheffield Alcohol Research Group, who are experts in this field, to undertake new modelling. Their research suggests that if MUP is to maintain the current level of benefits the evaluation was able to find at 50 pence, it should increase to at least 60 pence per unit due to inflation. However, Scotland is facing a, a growing, growing burden of disease in the next 20 years, and I know that all members will agree that action is needed to reduce the causes and effects of ill health in Scotland. Presiding officer, I'm pleased to be able to update the chamber today about the conclusion of our review of minimum unit pricing and to set out the next steps for the policy. Cabinet has now met and discussed all of the available evidence, including the recently held public consultation, and have come to a final decision. I can confirm it is our intention to lay draft orders before Parliament to continue minimum unit pricing beyond the 30th of April and to set the price per unit at 65 pence. I know that some people don't agree with minimum unit pricing and we have considered their concerns and views in reaching this position. I also note concerns from business and industry regarding some aspects of minimum unit pricing. And whilst it's my view that these decisions are unlikely to have a significant effect on the alcohol industry and retailers as a whole, and to date evidence suggests there has not been a significant impact on these business groups, I do understand the concerns raised. 
We have considered the important role that alcohol production and sales play in Scotland, particularly important to the economies of our rural communities and for tourism. The evidence suggests that there will not be a significant impact on these businesses and our world-leading alcoholic drinks industry. Many business stakeholders told us that implementing any price change quickly may be difficult. So I'm pleased to say that in addressing these concerns, if Parliament agrees to the order increasing the minimum price to 65 pence per unit, this will not take effect until the 30th of September.